Okay, Lon, today we're gonna go over the Unleashed Cosmere, the final formal case. With that being said, let's get into the video, Lon. Okay, Lon, let's go over the set really quickly for the Unleashed Cosmere that I'm gonna ring, okay? So, full personality, it's really up to you. I'm ring Brawny because I want it to hit a little bit harder. If you want to run Nimble, low, that is completely fine, still okay. Just depends on what you want to do. Don't need to hit harder, I'll be a little bit quicker. For the item, same as like all the little Cosmeros, Health Emblem is viable because also it makes it a little bit easier for you to set up like bulk ups on the specific case on this form whereas the other forms are in peace of mind instead all on that low you could just swap it out with like a power cost if you want a power cost you probably want more energy than i'm running on this one or on that you could just run an essence like an ancient essence or a mind essence since that's most of the moves that we're going to be clicking anywhere for the ability is surrogate okay the normal ability also you can run the secret ability but the surrogate one is the most fun one okay also, Dorogo has it as a secret ability. Dorogo can run sur Surrogate, but it's not exactly that amazing, okay? But Cosmere, actually being very bulky, being pretty darn quick, and also hitting really hard, can make use of it way more. Like, you can pair it with, like, basically anything. For my team that I'm running right now, okay? Himber and Sea Knight both have Awakening. Awakening says I'm mostly going to be you clicking Ancient or Mind type stab moves, okay? So there's Awakening. You can run it with Boast. Also, Cosmo has one of the highest melee attack stats in the game. So you're like almost guaranteed to get Boast to activate. You can run it with Eclipse. You get a of stack weakness. If you get hit by a Dark type move or a Light type move, you get more speed. Or also, for my case, I'm running Rev Up. You could run it with specialization, but also I'm running four moves on this one, okay? I will go over a specialization Cosmo eventually, but for now, I want to run a normal one, okay? So then for the moves, okay, but yeah, so we get so fun, so good, not broken though, because also they still can't really hit male types that well. So yeah, although though, you can have Meteor Smash as your melee ancient move and Cerebral Slash as your uh, melee mind type move. This is like the only best melee mind type move we have right now that isn't a signature move like Meditor's Cycle Slap and Mutagon's uh, Telekinetic Sweep. So kind of stuck with Cerebral Slash for now, okay, but it's good enough for, for Cosmere, okay? Especially if you get like a boost increase and something like that. Setup move is bulk up since we are a melee attacker, making our bulk for melee defense incredibly high again, okay, after one. And then for the last move, I'm running Kimnotize right now, okay. Also, there are other moves though. If you if you want to like pair it up with like a Terra Claw or a Garabantis for like Slick Shell or Trash Armor, I guess you could run Slumber. Uh, or if you want to run it with Defensive Priority, you could run it with uh, Slumber. Or you could run it with uh, Bane of Haste. I will try that one as well. That sounds really, really fun because you can become really, really slow. Also, I'm running Hypnotize because there isn't really a good move that I'm running on. There isn't like really a good ability right now that I'm running to really use another move, which is Headbutt or um, Ill Will. If you run it Headbutt or Ill Will, and you pair it with a secret ability Umbrat, or like a secret ability Luxor, or a chilled Festifer, or a uh, secret ability Zephalon, okay, you can also change your Headbutt or Ill Will type plus type moves into a, either a Dark type move, a Light type move, a Air type move, or an Ice type move, okay? Also the Dark one with Umbrat secret ability and chilled probably being the best ones, because also you can get rid of uh, Bug types of the Ice one, actually, and Zephalon as well can get rid of Bug types, and also you can uh, run the Dark version to also hit um, other Cosmeros as well, and also you get to bypass Teclipse's secret build, which is also kind of nice. So yeah, for the fourth move, really up to you. I'm running Hypnotize on this one because I don't have a, uh, a secret build to Umbra. I'm going to get a new one soon, okay? And I'll probably showcase that one. Now for the TPs, okay? Finally got rid of all of the abilities because there are a lot of abilities, and I probably mentioned, didn't even mention some of the abilities. You can basically run it with whatever you want, and it can be really, really, really good. Okay, then for TPs, Tundra Speed. I don't think most people are running 200 speed, but for this one, in my mindset, I'm like, okay, what's one of Cosmeo's biggest weaknesses? Kind of itself for its speed, okay? In a in a 1v1 situation for Cosmeo versus Cosmeo Unleashed, the quicker one will most likely win, okay? So I'm going to go for 200 speed, mostly just to outspeed other people's Cosmeo, so I don't have to really worry about like trying to be like, oh, I run like 180 speed or something, just like speeds creep something by a little bit. Might as well just run max speed because there's going to be a lot of speed creep pause, okay? And it's not really like needed anywhere else, to be honest. 200 melee attack so I can hit as hard as possible. Okay then, 20 energy gives me 276 energy at level 50, which basically just lets me go for 5 Meteor Smashers without a power cuss, okay? If you want to run a power cuss, you might want to increase this a little bit more so you can actually use, like I guess, like 4 Meteor Smashers. And also the rest is going to dump into the health, because we don't really need it for anything else, I guess, really. So yeah, just basically leftovers. So that being said, let's hop into the battles, Len. Okay, Len, hopping into the first battle, Len, and uh, not going to lie, this looks like a pretty annoying team to fight against, but we're going to give it a try and hopefully go for the best, okay? 
Okay, Lynn, I think this is the team I'm going to go with, and as you can tell, most of my team's like abilities that I actually want to Surigoka, minus uh, Specialization Matron, because I also I have four moves on mine, so also I got uh, Awakening from my two starters, that's why I'm actually bringing Seer Knight. I've got both from Borok, and since um, Cosmo has like one of the highest melee attack stats in the game, also like... There's not really going to be much to uh, decrease it, so I basically get a plus one for free. Uh, also, I don't actually see any fire types on the team, so that is an easy ice cold traps, okay? And also, want to mention, I actually doing like competitive battles in like the last few videos, in case you actually can't tell. I thought it makes sense, okay? Um, all on that low, like, what other abilities do I have? I've got also rev up on the Avatross. If I get like a plus one rev up, I think I I outspeed Zulong, which is also very nice. Um, so yeah, basically just like oh, and also to clips. Also, since I'm weak to dark. I can get rid of one of his weaknesses. Noise. So also then his Umbrat can't hit me. But yeah, Umbrat is like very terrifying for like all of the Cosmos uh, versions. I'm gonna go for the withdraw into the Metronet. That's fine for me. I'm uh, just gonna get my quick ice skull traps off okay. Um, now here, I think I go into my Teclips. Yeah, I think I go into my Teclips. Um, Cause even if I like can't really do too much to his Metronet, I mean, if it faints, my Cosmio can come in and basically use Metronet as setup fodder, basically, so yeah. Um, I am using Hypnotize on this Cosmio right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, or just kind of like, I don't really know what I wanted to do for the last move slot, so I might, like, mess around and change it a little bit. Also running Calfram Lut. You could probably run an Essence if you want to, like, just hit super, super hard in comparison to, like, Health Hemlock just makes it a little bit easier to set up on it, okay? And right now on my team, I'm not actually using any Health Hemlock, so I mean, thought, why not, right? I'm actually using Health Hemlock on, like, six essences, so nice. We'll go for... I want to go for Gamma Pulse here, just in case the Umbra comes back out. So that's exactly what I'm actually going to do. I think Luminous Raw hits a little bit harder. Also, nice play that they didn't go for the Dark Surge, okay? Because also... I have to clips. This is a really old clip, so I'm not going to show you the set because I don't want people really using this one. This is a very old one. The only reason I brought it and I actually do bring it is because it's just really good to like pray, uh, get pray with and team up with Cosmura, especially the Unleashed one. What's up, Mocho? What are you going to do, man? Actually, what are you going to do? You're... I haven't really seen too many Mochos. I'll go for Gluminous Raw here because uh, I think it hits a little bit harder than um, Gamma Pulse. <laughs> it's way harder. Love to see it. All on that low, Roblox has this new mouse icon, okay? And when you hover over stuff, it changes into, like, um, a hand. Not gonna lie, I, I I think it probably is gonna be better than the old one. It's just gonna take some getting used to, okay? I think that's where it's gonna be. Um, I could actually let Teclips go down here, but I'm, I'm thinking about their team. Like, they have an Umbrat. I'm also, I don't really have much for Umbrat, but... Umbra bypasses Teclipse's ability, so if they click like Raging Tackle, it'll still do a chunk to my Cosmere, so I don't think um, I really need this ability, um, unless I like want to use it against the, um, the what, the Metronet, I can also just use that as setup fodder, I guess, but if I just like hit really, really hard, I think it should be fine, but yeah, I'll go into the Himber here, also Terrafly lost a little bit of health, so Cosmere, it's like, it's really good, but you have to like have something on your team faint, but it has so many different possibilities. Also, dang, I forgot I gave Terrafly rough up. That really hurts. We'll go for Ice Hammer. I'm probably going to lose him for here, but that's fine. If I want to get Awakening, I can take Awakening, but I've got Boast, so I'm probably going to try and take Boast instead. So I guess we'll see what they're going to do. Uh, I'm just going to click Ice Hammer. It's my strongest move. Sex is stronger than uh, Earthquake. That's why I actually gave it the... Ice Essence, and also I have a Borok, so uh, I can't really run Earth Essence on both of them if I'm doing competitive battles, so we'll see what they're gonna do. I'm pretty sure they are speed me low, and they can probably just take me down here, to be honest. So if I did want Awakening... Actually, they don't take me down, never mind! See you later, Terrafly, you're gone! That kinda sucks, because I could've actually probably used Terrafly's, like, setup fodder as well. It, it hits, ha it hits, it'll hit me harder than Metronet will, but I could've used it. But yeah, I think I probably want Boast. Okay, there's the Umbrat. They're most likely just going to click um, Quick Pounce here. So I'm actually going to go for the Quick Punch. Just to maybe get a little bit of damage. Like, there's no there's no real point to click Quick Pounce here. Because if like if if they go for Quick Pounce, I have got a swap in them. If they click, um, they actually do click Quick Pounce, that's fine. Also, Critical Hit, nice. Glad it wasn't like something on, that I had on full health, okay. Um, I think, honestly, I go into Borok. 
Like, uh, it really, it really depends. It really just depends. Like, I, I do like the ability to uh, absorb Metronex and Dark type moves, but I don't know if Metronex is really that scary. I guess it kind of is. So, I think I'm gonna go for Tiklops' ability. To be honest, also there's no point in, like just sacrificing your Lumia stretch away because also like, Tiklops is good against Umbra. I can just collect Gamma Pulse here, pretty good. But they are gonna go for the withdraw into their mm, Eliguana. Is it secret or is it a Lightning Grods? It is... It's Lightning Rod, that's fine. It actually did a decent amount of damage. They could have Taze Low, that's a, a big issue that I gotta worry about, okay? So here, I'll collect Raging um, Howl. Actually, wait, no. Does Raging Howl do more damage or does Gluminous Roar? I think Gluminous Roar might actually do more damage. Uh, and I probably could have used it maybe twice. I don't... I, I collect Raging, Tackle, Raging Howl, it's too late now, okay? But I mean, Eligwanda can't really do too much to me back anyway. I'm basically just hurting myself. Thunder Strike, it's gonna do a, a good chunk, but yeah. And it gets to paralyze. Oh no! Thunder Strike, that's fine. Also, I'm paralyzed, so it doesn't really matter. If I did go for a uh, Dice Burst and then I went for a Raging Howl, I would have been um, outsped anyway. Now we can go to Cosmura and take that ability. Now, Eliguana can't really do too much to me, except from a uh, Taze, if it has Taze, but also we outspeed it, so we're just gonna smack it. Um, I could actually go for the Hypnotize. Maybe potentially put... Oh, do I go for Cerebral or do I go for Meteor Smash here? Because uh, they could go into their Umbra predicting Cerebral. And if they go into their... No, nah, we don't really care about Metronet. I'll click Cerebral just to take down the Eliguana. It should take it down. It does. We don't really need to go for a bulk up too much. We mostly just need a bulk up so we can like potentially one-shot that Umbra. There's the Umbra. Uh, don't want to really deal with you, man. I'm not gonna lie, because you can actually hit through my ability now. So I, I guess that was like pretty good buff earlier for this update. <laughs> okay, Len, what should I do here? Um, I think I probably should should sacrifice uh, Avatros. I think that makes more sense. Actually, low no, because Umbra should outspeed Borok, so I'm gonna get chunked really, really hard. So I think I sacrificed Borok, and it actually might live a hit, so there's that. And Ava just can just nosedive it. Yeah, I think that sounds better. I think that sounds better, okay. Also, of course I fight an Umbra, the first battle that I'm, I'm doing this, okay. That kinda sucks, man. Just a little bit. Maybe it actually was better for me to just take, um... Oh, it does a lot of damage. But hey, now that they've recalled themselves, I think I don't even need to set up. I think I can actually just get rid of it, potentially. So there's that, I guess. We'll go for the uh, Quick Pounce. They're going to stay in and go for their own Quick Pounce. It's fine. Like I said, Umbra's quicker than my bark, so I'm glad I didn't do that the other way. Um, so yes. Anyway, let's just go into... I want to go into the Cosmere and just hopefully like one-shot it, but I don't actually know if I do because we don't have like a... Um, an, a boosting ability, okay? Like, boast. If I had boast, i definitely one-shot Umbra, okay? But, yeah, I guess I guess we might as well try it, right? I guess we might as well. Umbra's weak, okay? It's, like, it's weak. But, yeah, I definitely want to try and get my own Umbra. Because, also, if I have an Umbra on my team, I could, uh, use that on my Cosmere as its ability, okay? So, and so long if you're on Headbutt. So, yeah, right now I'm using Hypnotize on this one, since... I'm not running, like, Umbra secret ability, but I actually might give it Headbutt instead of Hypnotize, and that'll let me, like, copy uh, Luxor secret ability or Umbra secret ability, so my Headbutt is now light or dark type moves. Um, I want to go for Bulk Up, but they might have, um, they might have Deja Vu, and I'm basically just trapping myself. Mud Spatter. Okay, that is a weird one. I guess that's just, just to hit Cosmior by two-shot Metronet, so that's fine. So yeah, Cosmior is a uh, very, it's like, it's very good, but it's not broken goods. So yeah, but uh, all on that, like, you could run um, Chill, which is Festifer's secret, uh, no, I think it's a normal ability. So your headbutt becomes Ice-type moves, you could run uh, it with uh, Zephalon, so your headbutt becomes a uh, Air-type move. You could run Vigorous, and then run uh, Volcanic Ashes on this one, okay? Uh, although... The only issue with that one, though, is if, you, if you're using Cephalops, um, not Cephalops, um, Colossotrops, you're probably going to be running Volcanic Ash on this one, so you don't, you, can, you can't run Volcanic Ash on both if you're doing competitive battles. That's the only one that sucks about Vigorous, so 
I think Ghost is probably the better one to run it with. Also, Alolan Awakening, since it only really has stab moves, okay, if you're not running Headbutt, okay? So with that being said, let's get into another battle, then. Okay, then, hopping into the next battle. Okay, then, I'm gonna go with this team. I think this is probably the best one. It's basically the exact same team I brought last time. C Knight doesn't really do much in this battle. I guess it, like, hits Cosmior... But, I mean, they've got, like, a few things on the team that I don't really want, like, Sea Knight doesn't really want to deal with, so, yeah. And it'll lead with the Stratosaur, actually. They don't have a Fire-type, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna set Ice Code Traps, I think, straight away. Because they have got, I think they have got a Zephalon, so it's just nice that I get it up. Like, Himber, I'm sorry, man. Um, also, like, the, the, the hard part with Cosmor is, I wanted to run more team members. I wanted to run a Gobidemic, so, oh, I, I gave my cousin a boost, but it's like really low on health now, because also it only has a health mode, it has no healing moves. So I'm like, okay, I want to run Gobidemic, so I can give it, um, I can, so I can health gift into it. And then that way, it could potentially get, um, Baneful. But then I want to also run something with, like, Poison Barb, like Terrorfly or Dorago, or I could run something like Blowtox with Poison. It's like, you can do so much with it, the possibilities are literally endless. It's like, such a fun, unique... Lumion, I like it. Also, Dorigo has got Surrogate, but Dorigo's stats are very, like, limited. It doesn't really take a hit very well. So, yeah. Oh, it has Ghost. Okay, I thought it would have Metal, uh, Metal Shriek, but nope. I don't really want Avatross to go down straight away, because it is my really only answer to, um, Strasol now that I actually think about it. So, uh, maybe I should have brought Sea Knights. Maybe that was a good idea, but it's fine. We'll go for the Nosedive low. I, I do want rev up on my uh, Cosmior as soon as I can, and what, what's Servlin going to do to me, man? Exactly. Not really that much, I don't think. So yeah, it does go down. I think actually it, it is boast, but we're going to Cosmior now because also this is the only way I can actually get rev up if I go into it now. So now that I have rev up, easy peasy, I can outspeed Zulong and the Vesperatu if they brought it, and their own Cosmior, of, of course, obviously. Probably going to lose him, but actually go for the withdrawal probably into the Strasaur. Okay, it is Strasaur, okay. Just in case, because also I could have gone to my um, Bark there, but didn't want my Bark to get hit really hard for no reason. So then, I guess we'll just Ice Hammer. I mean, they are going to just go for the Metal Blast. It'll take me out. Could have just quick punched it, but oh well. I really, really should have brought like Mini Toad. Mini Toad would have been amazing for Strasaur. So yeah, I don't know why I didn't really bring it. I don't really need to clips that badly as long as I can get a Rev Up off okay. But we're going to Borok here. Um, and I guess we might as well click Mega Trump and hope for a flinch, I guess, right? Also, uh, Servalon can't come back in because it will get a, a boast decrease if they have boast. I think they, I think they have boast. I'll click Mega Trump. Maybe I should have actually get Bark a Dark Essence. Uh, that might have actually been a little bit better, but it's too late now. Servalon, yes, that's a good sacrifice. Yeah, and they just get a decrease, so yeah, that was that was a really good sacrifice. They're going to go into their uh, Cosmior now, I would assume, and get a boost boost. That's what I would do right now. So they also have like a really... Actually, into Zephalon, actually. Interesting. Um, Zephalon still hits really darn hard, though, so I can't really go into my Cosmior. They have like a, a lot of stuff on their team to really deal with me. I still need Bark, unfortunately, so I can't really just get rid of it. We kind of have to go into the clips here, but, um, yeah, we're going to get hit really hard. Their team is, like, perfect against, like, the Cosmiors that I'm wanting, my team that I'm wanting to run okay for Cosmior. Okay, we'll go for the, um, we'll go for, I think Gluminous Rod does more damage. Let me just quickly double check. I want to say it's 85, right? It is 85. We'll click Gloom Raw. We'll click the Gloom Raw, do some damage. Um, there's that, that's good. Now then... We should outspeed Zephalon, so we could actually just go for an attack on with Cosmior. The only issue is just that Stratosaur. I can put it to sleep and then just like a bulk up spam, which isn't exactly the worst thing in the world. So I guess we could do that. So let's go for the uh, Cerebral Slash since it's just my... Uh, oh, actually, Provoke. Oh, it's quicker than me! Because I'm not running Nimble. Oh, no! I can't go for Hypnotize anymore, never mind! <laughs> So, uh, that kind of sucks. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, like, the, the good part about Cosmo is that it can't touch metal types. It just can't touch any metal type. I have to swap out, this is pretty obvious, so if I go into something else, it makes sense. Haven't seen their Cosmo yet. Haven't seen their Cosmo. If they have Brute Force on their Zulong, Cosmo doesn't want it. So I'm gonna assume it's like probably Zulong Vesperatu as their other two Lumians. We'll click Megachomp here. 
it's gonna suck as well for the Vesperato if they have Vesperato on the team, because I'm probably if they're going to it now, I'm not gonna get a speed boost before they come in. Yes, Vesperato. I mean, I'm kind of like my hands are tied here, man. I can't really go for anything. Strassel just kind of like defeats my entire team. So maybe I should have actually gone for the um the um Tiklops' secret ability, <laughs> or maybe I should have actually just brought my uh my. Meditoad so I can actually take hits from it, but oh well. Earthquake, slap down, Solon. Actually, it doesn't even KO me. This Earthquake's gonna hit really hard then. Earthquake, did, I did lose my Earth Essence though, so it's not exactly the best thing. Also, it's not Dark Essence, that's why it didn't one-shot me. If it was Dark Essence, it would have one-shot me there. Or Quake Pounce, they're just gonna... Sh actually, they don't shadow sprint. Maybe they have Sharpen instead. Do they click Sharpen? Nope, they click slap down. So because they don't actually have Dark Essence, um, I'm not going to take that much damage from it. I mean, I'm, I'm going to lose my health and mods, which is very unfortunate. But we can still potentially win this if they have Zulong. The only issue is that i got to like Hypnotize Spam against the um, Strasaw. So here I'm actually going to go for the Bulk Up so I can actually do more damage. Um, and then also when I hypnotize them, I have like an I can get an extra bulk off bulk up off because Rev Up is gonna give me a actually go for the revival. Don't know about that one. Personally, I would have just I would I would have just hit me at that point. Because uh, now I outspeed them and now I can just one-shot them and I didn't lose any health and I still have my health amulet, which means I can actually potentially win this still. Okay, Meteor Crash. See you later, Vesperato. You are getting one shotted, okay? See you later, bro. Kellen, show me the Zulong, okay? Show me the Zulong. I don't I don't think you really need plus one uh, melee attack to one shot a Zulong, but there's that. Oh, it's actually Venolan. Oh, it's gonna poison me, isn't it? I'm gonna hypnotize. Uh, actually, no. I should've just attacked it. Um, usually people run them as ranged tanks. It, I probably one shot it, so probably should've attacked it, but if I hypnotize them, I can get a, another bulk up off, I guess. Okay, nice, we actually landed it. And we're just gonna hope that I land it against the, um, the, um, Stratosaur, I guess now. Okay, rev up. Okay, we'll go for one bulk up, and that gives me um, two cerebral slashes. Okay, they go for the withdraw. I'm sorry, man. I know I put uh, one of your lumens to sleep, but I am going to put your Stratosaur to sleep as well, okay? I am so sorry, but I, I get hypnotized bound all the time. So, honestly, I don't really feel that bad if I do it to someone else as well. So, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Hypnotize. Oh, I missed it. I, I, I deserve that, to be honest. I deserve it. Metal Blast. It's going to hit pretty hard. Oh, it hits really hard. Okay, they're actually out of energy, it looks like, as well. So, Len, I should probably go for the rest of this turn, because I don't think they have uh, any energy, but I don't actually know. I think I'm still going to hypnotize. They go... F okay, it looks like they actually had enough energy, so nice. Okay, I got to go for a rest this turn. And then, that's really it. I have to, like, somehow critical hit him. Uh, there, there isn't really any... Oh, I actually woke up instantly. Oh. That sucks. <laughs> it woke up instantly. Oh, no. Does it have enough energy? It does. Oh, it woke up instantly. That is so unfortunate. I probably should have just attacked the, um... I probably should have just attacked the Venolan, because I would have actually had, like, I guess more energy there, potentially. So, yeah, that is so unlucky. I should have brought my Meditoad for the uh, Strauss or the Serenite. For as soon as in my head, I, I thought, yeah, I, I knew they were going to bring Strauss off because also I have a Cosmior. It's like their only metal type on their team. I don't know. I didn't really think about it, though. Also, fortunately, they didn't bring Zulong. I would have liked to one-shot a Zulong. That would have been kind of funny, but yeah. So there's that one. I think we'll hop into a Null Battle, though. See how well we can do in, in another one. Okay, then. Hopping into a Null Battle, and I see Igniller, a Vespiatu, and another Zulong. So again... I kind of want the rev up, to be honest, but at the same time, I would like the awakening. Also, I'm not going to make any mistakes this time, okay? I'm, I'm bringing the Meitoad just for the uh, Strasaur. Okay then, I think I'm going to go for this team. I'm bringing Bork again, mostly just to help me for the Hunter, so I can potentially, like, uh, just revenge kill it. It's actually going to be the Stratosaur lead. That is actually still really good for me. I'm standing in here, and I'm clicking Mega Chomp. If I can get rid of the Stratosaur, uh, we don't really need, like, a boast on my... I, I would like to get boast on my uh, Cosmior. If they have the Strauss, I'll just kind of like, I can hit it really hard after a couple of bulk ups. But, if I can like just weaken it straight away, and just get rid of it straight away, then I just really need Rev Up. Actually stay in, which is a little bit surprising. I actually just two-shot it, nice, that is a very ranged tanky one. Flexion Burst is going to hit pretty hard, but that's fine. Metal Blast? 
Oh, actually, I also fed it, so, um, this is a very, very slow Strasar, so this will actually KO it. And now that it's actually on low health, I wonder if, um, Cosmere can actually get rid of it at this slow. I think it might if I get a bulk up off first. Also, I actually forgot, Ambush. You can actually run Ambush with uh, Cosmere. You can basically run whatever ability you want. And it's, I mean, it, it doesn't have any abilities until you uh, have one of your allies faints, basically. Into the Odasho, yeah, that makes sense. I am just gonna go for the, um, I am just gonna go straight for the Raging Tackle. Odasho actually is probably tanks Cosmo very well until I get chill. Okay, if you get chill, oh boy, you get rid of all the uh, bug types that you're weak to. If you get um, the Eclipse's secret ability, you can also beat most of the Dark types that can also deal with you. So yeah, it's actually really, really fun. Get Raging Tackle, is gonna go for the Sap Plant. Gonna get a little bit of health. Probably is gonna go for the dodge here if they have it, but I think I just click raging. Oh, I only have enough energy for one more raging tackle though. I think I swap out here then into my Avatross because I do, like I said, I do want Nosedive. I, I mean, rev up. And my Cosmere for their Zulong and their Vesperatu. This is the same reason for the Lost Battle. Actually, got one for Ferro Blast. Should have actually clicked raging tackle, made it like really, really weak. We'll go for the um, Nosedive here. Also, if I can get rid of Odasho, that would be nice, because I'm not really going to be able to hit it that hard. Is it Zulong or Hunter? It's Zulong, actually. Okay, Len. Well, there's the nose dive. Um, oh, that actually did a lot of damage. Nice. Okay, what are you going to do here? I also, I actually outspeed it now as well. I want my Avatar to go down, but I still want it for the um, Odasho. So, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I will click... I mean, if I click Nosedive again and actually kill the Zulong, that would suck. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go for the Nosedive again, I think. I want the Zulong to KO me, honestly, so I'm just gonna Nosedive. And it, a critical hits! No! Avatross! I wanted my Cosmo to KO it, man! The heck! The heck! <laughs> That's why I haven't been clicking Brown with my Avatross, because I want my Cosmo to have it, okay? Also, that turn, I could have actually, up for the, against the Odasho, I could have just clicked Brown Boost, and then we've been done. I should have just clicked Thunder Crash, okay? Just I do like no damage to it, just so I can actually use my Cosmere against it. But I want to just leave on like one health, okay? So then he's like, oh, I want to get my zone get out of the battle as soon as I physically can. So yeah, that kind of sucks. And it because um they went into their Zulong, not their Hunter. Oh no, okay, they have Hunter. I was gonna say maybe they don't have Hunter. They do, which still sucks. I'm gonna Thunder Crash it low. But I think uh, if you were predicting Nose Dive, I think you'd rather go into Hunter because also it quad resists Air Muse. I guess he like was like scared about potential Thunder Crash as well. Back to back crits, Avatross, stop! You're gonna sweep their entire team. So yeah, I guess he was scared about like me clicking Thunder Crash. That makes complete sense. So there's that. Anyway, um, Hunter. Actually, I guess uh, for Eclipse's ability again, I'm also gonna name you Mega Chomp. Does it doesn't affect me anymore? And also like Chili Chomp, Blaze Chomp, and Thunder Chomp, I resist two of those, the other one doesn't really do that much damage, so yeah. Now that I have Rev Up, we're gonna go right back out, I think, um, into my Eclipse, because I'm most likely gonna go for Mega Chomp here, because Cosmere is way too scary. So there's my Eclipse, let me see the Mega Chomp, there we are, thank you for the speed boost, man, now I can actually take out your Hunter, so I'm gonna go for the, uh, Gamma Pulse, because Odasho exists, as I'm, I'm wary about it. I'm gonna withdraw, that's fine. As long as I can get like a speed boost, I should be able to take that out. Shoulds. Yep, I got that right. So we're just gonna hit it with a Gamma Pulse, so I can actually like still hit it for neutral damage. So I'll take it, okay? There we are. Yeah, um, I'll just click Raging Howl this turn, I think. I, I still don't remember if actually Gamma Pulse or Raging Howl hits harder. I don't remember, I, I, I want to say they're probably like very very similar, but Raging Hell might hit a little bit harder. I don't use Eclipse that often, okay? I'm only really using it recently because of uh, Cosmiars. All of the forms, Eclipse goes pretty well with, okay? Gets rid of that Dark Weakness, okay? Okay, I think it just hit me with Feral Blast. Um, I think Sap Plant would have been better, but oh well. I'll click Gamma Pulse here so I don't waste as much energy, but I can click to um, Raging Hells if I need to, but I'm just going to go for Gamma Pulse. So there we are. Also, I... Uh, actually, no, I can't go for the Dice Burst anymore because um, I'll be one energy shot, so never mind. No real reason to do that. So yeah, the Odasho is going to go down, and 
I can save the to clip still for the Hunter. It mostly depends what their last Lumens are. I've obviously taken out Zulong already. Oh wait, do they, they have Stratosaur, don't they? But it's really weak. So they have Zulong, Stratosaur, Hunter, Odasho. I'm kind of hoping it's the Vesperatu, not their own Cosmior. Really hoping. If it's defensive priority, um, Bane of Pace Cosmior, oh boy, that actually, you can use it with defensive priority because you become really, really slow. And then you have Bane of Pace, so uh, yeah. It's actually, oh no, oh wait, I forgot, it's not Unleashed form. Never mind, I, for I forgot it wasn't the Unleashed form. Um, still want to save my Eclipse here, so we're actually, we'll go into, um, into my Boric, I think, right? The only issue is low. I don't actually know, um, which Cosmior here will win, because, um, I hit very hard, but also I don't really have that much range defense, so I don't actually know which one would win here, the Unleashed one or the Cracked one, if they're both at full health. I'm gonna go into the Borok here, just sack off the Borok, I'd say. So yeah, so now we know that, um, Revo wasn't really that necessary, I guess, now. It would have been if I didn't critical Hitler or Zulong. It's only, only really gonna be useful for the Hunter. Actually, it's gonna set up, that's fine. Um, oh, actually, no, Leos speed me, so I have to go for the quick pounce. Mega jump here would be nice, but Leos speed me. And then it's mostly just the, um, mostly just the Meditor that can swap into it. And that can just, like, chip it down a little bit, okay? Because obviously its range defense isn't as high as, um, the encased one, so we can actually just, we can actually chunk it for a good amount of damage. And then... We can just finish it off with my Cosmior once Meditoad goes down, and then we should have enough speed to outspeed the Hunter and hopefully get rid of it in one turn. Um, so yeah, that's that's the plan. I really want to use it against Zulong, and of course, I just critical Hitler Zulong. It sucks. So yeah, but but here, I think having like Boast would have been way better as an ability since I already got rid of their um, Zulong. They're actually going to withdraw into the Stratosaur. That's actually a fine swap, if I say so. Although it doesn't really matter because you got KO'd! Nice! I'm actually glad I got rid of the Strasaur, because that still could have potentially tanked a hit. I'm assuming that um Hunter's gonna come out again. Yep. There's the Hunter. Here's the Teclipse. Most likely gonna go for Mega Chomp. If they don't go for Mega Chomp here, they faint. Uh, because Medito does not care about Hunter if it doesn't go for Mega Chomp and flinch me, basically. Blaze Chomp, that's fine. Could have actually still flinched, could have burnt me, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go for the Gamma Pulse, I guess, here. They should go back into their Cosmior, but... Oh, actually, I should click Gluminous Raw here. Because Gluminous Raw actually hits. Cosmior is super effective. Yeah, it's the Cosmior. Yeah, I, I messed up. I should have clicked um, Gluminous Raw. Although, that did a lot of damage still. Never mind, I'll still take it, man. Because I think um, my Cosmior can actually potentially one-try it now. Hopefully. Really hope so. I'll just, um, recall my myself. There's no, there's no really need to re recall myself. I should go for the weights here, but I'm gonna recall myself just in case I set up, because, uh, don't really want to deal with the Cosmo that has, like, plus one or two, okay? Don't really want to deal with it, so... Oh, that didn't even KO me? Meteor crash? That's fine. Okay, never, never mind. It still works, okay? It still works. It still works. <laughs> Okay, um, they did get a little bit of health back low, which is a little bit annoying, but should be still fine. Cosmo time, still wish I had boast instead now, but there we are. Let's just go for the, um, the Meteor Smash. There's no real need for a bulk up, I don't think. Or actually, Isla. Maybe, there is a chance I don't one-shot the Hunter, but I'll take my chances. I will take my chances. Here, they should actually just stay and then go for the Meteor uh, Crash, but it's fine. I take them out. Oh, I don't know if I actually would take him out there. I'm glad I did. And I have rev up. I have speed Hunter. Nice. Okay, you love to see it. How's it going, Hunter? How's it going, man? So yeah, if you want to like run a, a rev up version, you might want. Um, I really hope. I mean, even if I don't one shot them, I don't think they one shot me. So we'll just go for me or smash. If you're in a rev up version, you probably want a essence, I guess, instead. I didn't one shot them. That's fine. That, that's, this is why, by the way, um, I wouldn't have Awakening, so I do a lot more damage. That's fine. That did a lot of damage low. I didn't think it would do that much, okay? I knew it would hit me hard. Didn't think it would still hit me that hard. Hunter is a menace. If it can hit you super effective. But there we are. Nice. I'll take it. We finally got a Cosmo to actually work, okay? We've ref up.
<laughs> Definitely worth it, okay? But hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna leave off here, and I'll see you guys next time.